Hello scientists, welcome back to my channel. I am going to show you how to draw the tumor microenvironment in this tutorial. This was a very popular live stream when I did it live. And if you have any question while following the tutorial, you can always come to my live stream and ask them live. Be sure to follow my social media. I announced my live stream schedule on my Twitter and Instagram. Also, as you guys know, I'm going to teach at the University of Amsterdam in June. I need your help to pick my outfit. I want to look like a proper professor so on the 28th of may i'm going to try out my outfit on my live stream and you guys can give me suggestions and inspirations enough with the chatting let's start to draw our tumor microenvironment okay so first let's draw the tumor cell come here to grab the star tool and double click i will make more points that will be maybe like eight points or seven seven i think seven is better like an odd number Let's switch to the direct selection tool. You will find these round widget, which is called the round corner widget. You can just drag on them. Then you can round these corners and you can adjust these individual corners. And you can also just pull on some of these anchor points. I'll just leave it like this, but you guys can play with your own cancer cells. Let's use the gr gradient tool and let me open the gradient panel. Click on radio gradient. Now we are in the uh, stroke mode, which is not what I intended to do. We need to switch back to the fill mode. You can do it by clicking here on the fill color panel. All right. Now when you click on the radio gradient, then you can create one. And let's change the color of this gradient stop. Okay, and just grab the color in the swatches and drop it into the gradient slider. Uh, but this is too saturated, too much color. And we need to lighten it up. The nature review style. Keep these tab open. Let me drop this lighter orange in there. Usually, I will use a dark gray for the outline. We need a cancerous nucleus. You can go to your lips tool and just create a circle. You can make a circle while holding shift and drag on your lips tool. I will, I will remove the outline and then move it inside of the cell. And we need a even darker color for the nucleus and because it's a cancer cell usually you'll see in those reviews they will make their nucleus shape irregular you know just by dragging on the anchor points of the nucleus a little bit and you can also add some new anchor points something like this now you can start making copies of it we need to randomize the cancer cells a little bit you know in the size and the rotation doing it one by one it's not very efficient so we can actually select them all and come to transform and click on transform each here you can you can scale it and you can also move them can also rotate them and now you see they're moving all in the same transformation at once we want to randomize it just check the random box then other illustrator will randomize it for you let's scale them and you can also move them around a little bit not sure how much this one helps but we can also play with it and once you're happy with it just click ok then the transform wasn't too exaggerating so i think i'll transform again just to make it more dramatic the size should be even more randomized yeah i think that's much better there are a few cells that we need to create first i'll create a fibroblast let me see here we go a square then i will rotate it use the direct selection tool to select these two points and then come up here to click on convert selected anchor point to smooth there you go then I can, you can bring it down here. So just like hold shift and then press up, then you can move it in a bigger increment. There you go. Okay, and this will be the fibroblast. So is the nucleus and I put it in here. 
This really looks like an eye. Okay, the reason that it looks like an eye, like an Egyptian eye, is because you kind of need a little bit of dent down under here. And do you see that there's a w weird thing going on? Because I missed dropping it right on top of the gradient stop. So if you guys are wondering what happened there. Okay, we need a little bit more color in there. Okay, good. And I'm adjust I'm adjusting the shape of the radio gradient and drag this to change the shape. Yeah. Any questions from you guys? Okay. Uh, 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 okay, here. So make a more saturated color right here and drop it in. Okay, there you go. And make it thinner. So this is the 0 0.5 thickness. In the nature example, they put figure legend down there. We can also do that. T cells in general look very simple. This is also one of the practice that I make for you if you take my Adobe Illustrator beginner course. That's the first practice is to draw a T cell because it is just too, very simple, but it can also help you to practice making shapes and gradients. Grab this blue and drop in here. And of course it's too saturated. So let's go to the color guide. Find the lighter version of it and drop it in. There we go. And 0 0.5 and then light gray. And I'll just make a copy of it. Switch back to the fill mode, then drop the original blue in there. Scale it down. It over here and they offset it a little bit okay i'll go with the dend dendritic cell actually i'll just steal one <laughs> t cell from there and group it we need to have those dendrites create a path like this and i'll increase its thickness And now I'll go to stroke and change it to round cap. All right. I'll make a few copy of this. Make, maybe make them a little bit thicker. Some of them thicker. Like that. Okay. And we need to convert these paths into objects. So let's go to object, expand. And we all need to expand the stroke. Just click OK. And now we are shapes in them. I will move the cell body to the top. Some of them needs to be a little bit. I'll do it this way and uh, let's open our Pathfinder tool. If you cannot find it, you can find it window and Pathfinder. Click on unite and unite the dendrites with cell. These corner transition, if you really want to smooth them then out, you can switch to the uh, direct selection tool and then select the anchor point and you'll get these round corner widget. Drag on them, then you can round these corners. You need to change its color. The nucleus. Uh, let me get the purple in there to remove this and then purple again but this time a lighter purple even lighter purple is such a prominent color that when you use it it just looks very dark nucleus at the center group it and okay now i can put it dendritic cell in microphage i'll steal a cell again 
Now I shouldn't delete the nucleus. I should keep it. Put it here. All right, now let's get some of these, these rectangles. Put them around the cell. Okay, good. Okay, I think now it's better. Unite. And let's go to the direct selection tool. Select some of the anchor points. Click on convert them to smooth. And let's do it to all the points. And you can get this macrophage type of shape and it doesn't have to look perfect actually a irregular shape is good and macrophage sounds really big so i will also make it bigger uh which color should i use i would uh, maybe red yeah this is a very prominent red But uh, I will make it lighter with the color guide. Drop it down here. There we go. Group. Macrophage. Also, let's drop like maybe two of them in. Two or three of them in there. This is like a big party in here but that's how the tumor microenvironment should look like right so crowded and then you have a little bit of epo epoxia at the center all that shenanigans